Hi, I'm Andre. I'll show you how to make this spring pad. So let's see how it works. So as you can see, we have a base and we have a pad. And there's a spring connecting the two and it acts uh, on a weight like this. So I'll show you really quickly how to do this and then we can have some fun with it adds rotation and stuff like that. So just create an actor like this. We'll use two static meshes like this. One for the base and the other for the pad. And we'll also add a physics constraint. Like this, and we'll call this spring. So here, let's drag the pad up like this and scale it down a little bit like that. Now, because the pad is moving, we have to simulate physics. And in the uh, physics constraint, let's add them. So it's a base here and the pad. You can see they're added. And we have to disable the collision between the two, like this. Now, for it to move up and down and come back to its position, we have to use linear limits. So we'll use the linear limits on the z-axis, like this. So put this to free here. The angular limits will lock everything. And in the linear motor, now it's free to move up and down, but we make it, we want to make it come back. So for that, we use a linear motor. So because it's on the e Z axis, we check this right here. So it's going to try to come back to zero, which is its initial, initial position. And we'll put this higher to 1500. And let's also add some uh, damping to the movement with this. Put this to five. So it doesn't wobble so much. Okay, so let's try this out. Like this. So if we pull down from it, it goes up and it also reacts under a weight. Okay, so that was it. Okay, now let's have some fun with it. So if we add rotation to it, we should get something like uh, the um, gift that you see in the cartoons where the punch comes up from a box, comes from walk, a box. And so let's see how we can do that. So we want to add, unlock the rotation on the, around the Y axis and around the, the X axis. So for that, we go here. So let's check this. This is not good. It's around the z-axis. So you have to check this one and this one. Okay. So we'll leave them to free and we'll add angular motors to make them come back. So we have here swing and twist. So we have to check the two here. Swing and twist. They want it to come back to its original position. We'll put this to 1500 like this. And we'll also add some damping. So just put this to five here. And that should do the trick. So let's see what happens now. So if I click onto it, it adds a force like this. I poke it. So as you can see, it's exactly if we if we pull it down, it will be like the toy with the punch when the punch comes out of the box like this. So that's kind of fun. Now, what if we say let's say we want to shoot an object with it into the air? So let's take this like this and put it on top like this. So now what we want to happen at when we begin play is 
this will be pulled down like this and let go so we will shoot the object up now for that we'll have to use so at begin play here we'll actually change if we go into the physics constraint we're gonna change the um, position target of the linear motor so we'll put this zero here means that it's going to try to stay in this position so if we want to, to to stay here for example we have to look at the object's position and say it's uh, let's say it's 60 okay so let's control z on that so we take this position and we subtract the position that we've seen and that gives us the difference that we need here okay so if we look here we have 120 minus 60 it gives us 60 so we're going to have to set this to 60 right here so for that we go into the event graph on the begin play of course you can do this uh, using an event on the player or something like that but I'll just do it here because it's simpler so let's add a delay so when we play we have some time then we take this spring and we set its target um, position linear target position like this so let's right click and split this okay like that so we put the z we'll put 60 okay like that so we should come back here so if we execute this so it goes down okay to this and it stays there because we left it there and if we and now we have to let it go well it's kind of let it go we actually tell it to go back here okay so Let's add another delay, like two seconds, and then we'll take this again, and here we'll say zero, like that. So now what it should happen, it's actually shoot the object into the air. So you can see it works. If we want some a fun effect, we can because we're using the rotation we'll put this onto the side like that and it should shoot it up differently as we see here now if we don't put this object on top we'll see something um, that looks like a bug but it's not so if we play right now now see no nothing happens and why is that well because when we put this here because the object the pad is not moving at all it goes to sleep so that means it won't take this into consideration okay so what we have to do so we have to set this and then we have to wake up the pad from sleep so yeah wake so wake rigid body so this is like moving it a little bit because the uh, object goes to sleep because uh, it doesn't uh, want to waste processing time calculating its position when the its movement is very very tiny okay so if we wake this let's see what happens okay so it goes down <coughs> and now it doesn't come back well because of the same reason so we have to take this again because we're moving uh, we're setting again its target here we have to wake it okay so now it works yeah so that's kind of it um, if you've liked this video, please comment.
and uh, don't forget to subscribe.